In this video, you are going to discover how to access restricted websites using an IP address without having to pay any money. Hello, welcome to my video on how to access restricted websites online fast, even if you have tried everything. In this video, we are going to look at a free way of accessing restricted websites using the IP address. My name is Neil. Thank you for dropping by. If you like my channel and you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and smash the bell icon below to be notified on further videos that I have got coming up, keeping your device private, secure and safe. I'm going to briefly explain what an IP address is, how to find the IP address of a website, how to use it, and the limitations of using an IP address. I'm going to talk about this for people who are using Windows computers, Macs, or Linux operating system, as well as if you're using an Android device or an iOS device like an iPhone. Later in this video, I am also going to show you an extra way of accessing restricted websites so make sure that you stay until the end. IP is an acronym for Internet Protocol. An IP address is a unique identifier or label that is assigned to websites and other digital devices. This unique identifier allows devices to send and receive data to and from each other over the Internet. It's a bit like when you send a letter through the post. You have a destination address and you have your home address or return address. If you know the IP address of a website, it is possible to access it with your web browser just like you can if you know its domain name. Why can this work? Sometimes you will find that when a website is blocked, it is only the domain name of the website that is blocked, but not the website IP address. When this happens, you may still be able to open the website in your web browser, which is what we're actually going to be talking about today. So now let's talk about how to find the website IP address. First, I will talk about how to find a, a website's IP address using a Windows computer. The first thing you have to do is open the run command. And to do that, you press the little Windows key on the bottom left of the keyboard and press the R button at the same time on the keyboard and the run box will appear in the left hand side of your screen. Then type CMD in the search box and then click OK to open a regular command prompt. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the trace root command. So type trace RT which you can see on the screen with a space and then the domain name or the website name after it and then press enter. Then you will have to wait a few seconds for the trace to complete. Where it says tracing root to the domain name of the website you want to access followed by the IP address which is four lots of numbers separated by dots. Take a note of this IP address and then enter it in the browser. This method may not work if whoever has banned the domain name of the website has also banned the IP address. Also, it may not work if when you access the website, you are routed through a website like Cloudflare first, which is used by a lot of websites. Where I live, with the website that I've used as an example, when I enter the domain name, my ISP puts up a notice. When I find the IP address of the website that is banned, I don't get that notice from my ISP. But because it is a website that uses Cloudflare, the website does not display because Cloudflare prevents access if you access directly through an IP address. However, the fact that it is Cloudflare that's preventing access rather than my ISP shows that this method is successful. If I had a test website that was banned by my ISP, that didn't use Cloudflare, 
it would display the website, but I don't know of one. I will now quickly talk you through finding the website IP address on a Mac. The first thing you have to do is open the applications folder on your Mac. If you don't know where it is, you can click anywhere on your desktop and press the command plus the shift and A keys on your keyboard at the same time. Next, you need to open the utilities folder and then open the terminal app. Then type trace root followed by a space and then the website domain name. You will then get the IP address of the website. If you are a Linux user, then I'll now talk about how you get the IP address of the website in Linux. First of all, you need to install dig if you haven't already installed it. Then type dig domain name Dot com, which is obviously the domain name you're searching for, and then put plus sign short. You will then get the IP address of the website. If you're using an Android or an iPhone, you will need to do the following to find the IP address of the website. For an Android, search for an app in Google Play with trace root in its name, and then install it. For an iPhone, search for an app in the App Store, with trace root in its name and then install it. Then enter the domain name of the website to get the IP address. Using the IP address of a website may or may not work, as I mentioned earlier, depending on if whoever has blocked the domain name has also blocked the IP address. So just remember that. Also, if the website also uses a site like Cloudflare, then you will not be able to access the site using the IP address. If you also want a high level of anonymity, then keep watching because later in this video series, I talk about more private methods so that other people don't know what you've been doing on the internet. In a moment, I'm going to tell you about the additional way of accessing restricted content. But before I do, if you like my channel and you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe and smash the bell icon below to be notified on further videos that I have got coming up on keeping your device private, secure and safe. Another way that you can access restricted content is by using the cache. If you would like to know more about using the cache to access restricted content, then you are going to love the next video where you can learn more about it. The link to the video is about to appear on the screen. Thank you for watching.